my lovely subscribers i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a story time i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it okay so first things first make sure you're comfy and you have some water anything a tea or whatever because you know what ladies we're about to spill some tea and i'm gonna tell you why Okay, so let's get started. Just thinking about how I'm gonna tell you guys the story. It just, it just make my blood boil a little bit. Just because, just because of the fact that I'm giving these people money and they disrespect me like this, you know. So I decided to see reviews about this place that was opening close to my house. Okay, I went to Groupon and I found a good deal on this new place. It was $45 for a full set. I don't know how good of a deal is that, but I took it, okay? I got there and there were some customers there. So I said, hello. Nobody answered me back. And I said, hello again. Nobody answered me, okay? Then I just sat down and just looked around and I didn't know like what to say because nobody was noticing me there. Like I was a ghost, apparently. And this girl comes from the back. She was doing the pedicures on the back, I believe. And she was coming towards me and she said, hello. And I was happy because somebody had noticed my existence. I was like, yes. Just Lord, somebody had noticed me. All right, anyway, so she said, hello, how are you? I said, good, I'm here to get my nails done. I, I want a full set. And she said, okay, well, there's gonna be a wait. I said, no problem. I have this Groupon and I had called before, so there's no issue. And she said, it's going to be a 15 minute wait. I said, okay. And I sat down, I was texting with my sisters, you know, telling them, hey, I found this new place and i'm running out of breath now so let me take a break and drink a little bit of water and you guys i'm not so good at telling stories so maybe i'm speaking too fast or not explaining myself but i hope that you guys understand what i'm saying in my frustration so anyways let's continue um, I waited there, I was texting my sister and I was telling her how happy I was that I found this new place that maybe it was going to be better than the place I was going before and it was going to be cheaper. I was like, yes, it's going to be a good deal, blah, blah, blah. And I was excited. So, 15 minutes had passed and I was still there waiting. No problem. I mean, 15, 20, I don't have a problem. I'll wait. I was on Instagram. I was looking at designs. 30 minutes passed and I was still there. I was like, you know what? 30 minutes is not that bad. I mean, I'm getting designs and only 45, $45 is a good deal. I'll, I'll wait. 15 more minutes passed and I'm getting tired at this time. I have never wait for so long at a nail salon. So, I don't know how much time I waited in total, maybe an hour. After an hour, I wanted to say something, but I just gotta say, you guys, like I'm the type of girl that will just wait and wait and how can I say this? Like I'm the type of girl that don't like confrontation. Like I don't like to confront other people. Like I don't like to argue. I don't like to be on the spot. Like. I don't like that type of vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like that. So I didn't say nothing, but I wanted to. Like, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh my God, like, what in the world? What's going on? Like, why are they taking so long? So, after about an hour, five minutes, um, the same girl that noticed me at the beginning, she said, oh, I'm sorry, I was in the back and somebody's coming right now, but she wasn't working, so she's coming right now. 
I was like, okay, no problem. The girl came through the door. It was not a young lady, it was an old lady. I don't know if that matters. And she said, hello, I'm here to do your nails. I said, okay, cool. I sat down on her chair and I showed her what I wanted on my phone. All that I wanted was just whatever I have now, I'm gonna do a zoom in on my nails. I wanted this, I don't know if you can see. It's like an ombre, it's just a very light pink and then it transitions into a glittery um, half of the nail, like that, okay? And then this ring finger, as you can see, it has a design. The two fingers are going to be different. The rest is going to be the same way that I have it now, which is pretty simple. I've been getting this done everywhere I go. It's simple, okay? I sit down, I tell her that I want this, I want the ombre, I want it to look like this, blah, blah, blah. And I wanna go ahead and say before I continue that I had nails. I had nails, but they, like, they were growing a lot. So I decided that I wanted all done from the beginning. Like I didn't want to fail. I wanted the whole thing done again. Okay. So, and I knew that I was gonna pay a fee for them to remove my fake nails that I had. So there were no issue with that. Okay. So she said, Oh. Okay. Uh, I can do that for you. She started using the drill machine. I don't know if that's what it's called. I have no idea. I don't work at a nail salon, so I have no idea what it's called. But she uses this machine that does this motion <laughs> that they control with their feet, okay? And that thing goes like this, it spins. She's using that. And I'm so used to this thing already. Like, it doesn't hurt nothing. Like, it never like burn or nothing. Like, it's just, I'm just there chilling, listening to music while they do it. But no, not at this place, okay? <sighs> Let me tell you that it was so painful. I don't even know how to explain it. She was doing, she was doing that machine around this area of my nail, like where my skin is. She was burning me so much, it hurt it, it hurt it. Like I felt like it was cutting me, like that. And it was literally cutting me, okay? And I was like, oh, like that. I like, I wasn't like, I didn't say it the first time, I didn't say, hey, it's really painful, whatever. Like I said before, I'm not gonna say like, hey, stop it, like, you know what I mean? I'm not like that. So she continues, but by the way, like the, the way I said, like, oh, like that means I'm like, in pain like it hurts you know stop and I pull away she continues in the same spot where she burnt me that I was like oh, you know she started burning me again like I have no nail there lady why are you burning me right there like it makes no sense to me she burns me again and again and again okay and I pulled away and I was like can you stop burning me and I was done I was done I'm not about to sit there and like she's like killing me you know she's like torturing me like I'm not about a life okay no 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 and I'm paying you for it like what is that what type of life is that and then so she said oh I'm sorry 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 and I said that that's okay but can you like stop burning me like it hurts and she said okay she gets my finger I mean my hand again she continued on my other finger she left the finger she continued my other finger she burned me again I mean I was just like can you please get somebody else to do my nails because you just keep burning me. I can't deal, I, I don't want this anymore. Can you just get another person to do it? I said it like that and she said, okay, no problem. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait more time. But you know what, at that time I didn't care because it was burning me, it was burning me. So I sat in that chair waiting for the next lady that was working on somebody else and I, I didn't wait that long. And the next lady came. She sat down and she continued with the drilling machine or whatever that is. 
Shit was burning me too. I mean, at this point, I was just like over it. Like, I... anyways, she was burning me, and I said, oh, she was burning me, and you're burning me again, and it really hurts. That spot right here really hurts because, as you can see, that's my real nail. I said, that's my nail right there. I don't have any more like powder or like gel or whatever you're trying to get out. Like, I don't have any more. Like you're scraping my real nail and my skin. Like please, my cuticles, stop. So she stopped and she said, okay, I'm sorry. And she changed the head on the thing and she used uh, a smaller one, which I think it was better because it wasn't hurting no more. And she um, cleaned my nails and my nails were gone, my fake nails, and she continued to put my fake nails that she was going to do. She glued them on, everything was fine, everything was okay until she started putting the powder that goes on top of the nail, the fake nail that they glue on. She put the primer on my fingers. As soon as she started swiping that thing on my fingers, on my nails, I started feeling like a burning sensation, but really, really burning, like burning to the max, like inside of my real nail, like my nails were burning. Like, I even like smell like, I don't know if it was my head, but I, I, I smell like burnt nails. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It smelled like something was burning, like about to smoke. Like, it was, it was crazy, okay? And I said, oh my God, my nails are burning. My fingers are burning so much. She grabbed my hand like that. She grabbed my hand like a desperate woman. I think she was desperate. She put this water bowl that she already had under her thing, which I don't know if this happened all the time and she was like ready for it. <laughs> she grabbed the thing, she put it on her desk, she grabbed my hands and she dipped my hand like that, like so rough, like inside the water, okay? And she said, better? I said, yes, it felt better though, okay? She took it out of the water, I wiped my hand and she continued to do my nails. Anyway, so, she did the gel thing, whatever she was doing, the powder. Those nails were coming out so thick, okay? So I said, can you please make them thinner? Because I like them thinner. I don't like thick, fake nails, you know? I like them to look kind of normal, natural looking. I also forgot to tell you that I said right at the beginning to the lady that I wanted coffin um, shape. She started shaping my nails. Some of them were coffin, some of them were super square. I don't know what happened. And this is my fault too because I walked out and I didn't notice. I don't know how I didn't notice, but maybe I didn't want to notice because I didn't want to be there anymore, you know? Once I got home, I noticed that some of the nails were shaped different, <laughs> if that makes sense. But, long story short, let me just get to the point. Okay, so remember I said I wanted two different designs on these fingers, on the ring finger. So she did the designs, but it was an epic fail. So I decided that I was just gonna keep them all the same because she couldn't get it right. I wanted a uh, Christmas tree and I wanted a snowman, just the face on this one, okay? And she kept on trying, kept on trying, she couldn't get it right. I don't know if they're not used to getting like, um, just free-handed things. So she couldn't do the design, but it, I was just like, okay, it's okay. Just give me whatever you want, but I'm just trying to get rid of you. <laughs> I think she was trying to get rid of me though, <laughs> but I was trying to get rid of her too. Okay, I'm not lying over here. So she just did the same thing on all of the fingers. And um, right after that, she's like, you like them? So I go ahead and pay and like I said, I had called before and mentioned that I had the 45 Groupon. She told me that I couldn't use that because I had to make a appointment for next month. I don't know why, I have never heard of that and like I said before, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, I don't like to be the center of attention. And there were more people there, I, I wasn't about to fight, you know, so yes. 
So um, I said, okay, so what can I do now? She said, you can come back and use this within a month. In a month, not within a month, in a month from now. Uh, and she said, and um, we also will give you a discount for $5. I have no idea why she was giving me a discount for $5, but I just paid real quick and she charged me $55 for my nails. And I know what you're thinking right now, like it's my fault. I even left her a tip. I left her a $5 tip. I was supposed to leave her a $10, $15 tip or whatever she had done the job correctly, but she wasn't trained. So, but I still left her a tip though. <sighs> so nice sometimes. As soon as I got home, I saw that the shape, some of them were square, some of them were coffin. And also, the corners right here on the corners, on the sides, there were no gel. There were no nail, there were like fake nail. They were just my nail, like on the corners. And they were cracked. And like I was doing this in my hair, I was doing this in my hair and the nail got stuck right there. You know, cause it was cracked. It was to be a $55 job. You're a new place, you want new client. You should care more about your clientele. Like if you have a new place, you should be nice to, to the new people that are coming in because these are going to be your clients for a long time if you do your job correctly. Anyways, so long story short, you guys. I'm not going back to that. It is what it is, you know? We all like nice nails and hair and all that. We have to deal with bad people sometimes, but it is what it is. We have to do it, right? We have to do it for the beauty, for the beauty. Okay, you guys, so that's it. I'm not gonna add anything else to it. Just be careful out there. If you guys like to change your nail technician lady or man, whatever that is, be careful because sometimes, you know, it's better to stay where you are comfortable. Like, if you have already a person that does your nail and you're happy and whatever the case might be, just stay there. Don't go and uh, don't do the same thing that I did. But anything that you guys want, please let me know. I know that I don't upload that many videos uh, a month, but I will continue to do more story times, more beauty videos. I will be posting more often. And yeah, I think that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story time. I will be back with another one soon. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.